Hello? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luke here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 2 of Primary School Stories. And just to sum up the episode today quickly, guys, I'll be talking about when I got grabbed by a guy. I think he was in his 30s or something, maybe 40s, and I was probably 7 or 8. So I'll get straight into it. So my my school is kind of on a slope. So at the entrance, there's like a, a big road, and then there's a big driveway going up the uh, entrance. And there's classrooms down the bottom, and they lead all the way up to the top. Now, my classroom was up the top, so you kind of go down the hill. And as you go down, there's more you know, basketball courts, playgrounds, all that kind of stuff. So it was lunchtime and me and my mate were kind of bored. We, we, we didn't really know what to do. So we're walking around and we walked down to the very front of the school where there's the fence and there's the road. So we walked down there and we were kind of bored and we're sitting, we're just standing against the fence, like looking at the cars. And it's like, it's not a very popular school. So there's not cars going past 24 seven. It's probably just like a car. I know every three minutes. So what we were doing is we we're just standing there and we we're thinking what to do. And as as we're thinking that, a car drives past and like kind of beeps its horn. So we go, oh, that's cool. So we're thinking, oh, that was pretty awesome. Um, you know, being seven or eight, a car beeping. I I have no idea why I thought that was awesome. Another car goes past, and as this car is going past, me and my friends start jumping up and waving our hands like frantically. And that car starts beeping. We're thinking, this is absolutely awesome. Let's let's make this a bit more fun. So we're trying to make it a bit more fun, figure out new ways to get the cars to beep at us without being a girl and flashing our private parts. So we go up to the top of the hill, not the very top. We only got the slope a tiny bit. There's uh, a little slope. So we go up the top, and it would probably be about, I don't know, 15 metres, and we, we could see a car from the from the gap between two trees. And when we seen that car, we would start sprinting down to the fence, screaming and throwing our hands up just to make it more fun for them to see us. And then we got like this Asian bloody, oh, how do I say this? If you ever see like K-pop, those stupid kinds of, um, those <laughs> kinds of Asian music, it was like someone like that driving like a really nice car and <laughs> looked like, kind of looked like Sai and he was just like thumb, giving us thumbs up. So it was kind of funny when he drove past, so we laughed. And then um, we got some more kids coming around and some little kids and a couple of friends our age watching us. And I have no idea to this day whose bright idea it was because I, did, I think after that we weren't getting as much attention. So I don't know who it was, but I think someone said, let's throw rocks at the cars to get their attention a bit more. And, and if you want to get someone's attention, throw rocks at them. That, that always works. It worked for us. So... The uh, first car goes past and about six, no, five of us pick up rocks and the other kids are looking and they're sitting down watching us. So we throw the rocks and we all miss and this car kind of like, it kind of like beeps, I think, and it drives off and we're like, oh, cool, we got its attention. So we all pick up rocks again and I honestly think this one time I didn't pick up a rock. I can't remember. I was too young and... Then this kind of ute comes past. This ute's got a dog in the back and it's got um, this kind of country bumpkin guy in the front. Now, we didn't know I had a dog in the back, but it didn't get hurt or anything. And as it's going past, we all throw the rocks. Now, when we throw the rocks, they, I think each one hit the car. It was like it was like ting, 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 ting. Each one hit. And it was just, to be honest, it was pretty good shots for kids in grade three or two. So once we did that... We're all smiling with, like, the happiest faces, thinking, oh, he's going to beep. He slams on the brakes, like, incredibly far. He slams on the brakes, like, one of those kind of action movies where someone slams on the brakes. He stares at us, and if you can think about it, think of, like, six kids with huge smiles on their faces that just drop in a second. And the dog's kind of barking, and he gets out of the car, and he's like, oi, you fucking kids. And he stares at and he points at me. And then he points at someone else, and I was like, oh, oh no, no, and I, I just wanted to walk off, like, I was like, no, no. So, two of my friends sprint up the right side of the school, one of my friends sprints up the straight side, so there's about three gone now, and then two of them are basically holding hands, nearly crying, running up the left side of the school, and they go and hide under a playground, I had no clue where the other two went, so I'm like, why are they running? I had no idea. And I remember it like this. 
I just kept walking like nothing has happened. So I'm walking up the middle of the school and this guy is kind of doing this slow walking jog because he's seen me and he's coming up the school and he's like, you, and he starts pointing at me and he starts running. And I'm honestly think about like, a, like if you are on the street and there's a hobo and he asks for money and you just say, nah, sorry, mate. And he's kind of on drugs. So he goes, what the fuck are you doing? And he starts chasing you. You, you get confused, so you do that kind of, like, look around your shoulder and you're just going, um, why is he chasing? And you slowly start picking up your pace and you just got that confused look. Yeah, that was me at grade two with a 30-year-old guy, like, chasing me. So I'm, like, slowly picking up the pace. And as I turn around to start running, I just feel this grab on the back of my, like, shirt, the, like, the, the collar, I would say. And after he grabs that, he kind of, like, he doesn't drag me into the office, which was about five metres, ten metres away. He pushes my back. I mean, um, I guess if he put his hand any lower, I could have got a sexual assault charges, but I wouldn't have known what that was back then. So he just put his hand on my back and he pushed me into the uh, office. And then two of my other friends got called like a minute later and they're like, they're asking what happens and they're like, oh, you don't have to question Luke. And I'm, I kind of give him this weird look because I, I honestly can't remember if I did throw or not. And they're like, yeah, Luke didn't throw. I'm like, yeah. And, and I do not know how I got away with this. I said, I threw the rock, but only only a meter ahead just for fun. And they said, all right, mate, you can go. So I don't know how smart the teachers were at my school, to be honest, but I got away with that. Um, nothing really bad happened to the guy. He It was fine. It's just he kind of went off because of his car. But, yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that. So... And before I go, guys, I want to say thank you so much to Video Games. I actually uploaded my video, and I've gotten, like, I think it was, like, 400 subs in basically a day, thanks to them. And I've got new subscribers, so hello to the new subscribers. And, guys, I've got way more coming. I think I've got Crazy Teacher, Crazy Librarian, and I nearly died at school. I was choking. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep it keep the series going. I want a cricket bat to the face at the hospital because of that. There, there's so many stories. Like, I keep remembering them as the days goes on, so... Hope you guys enjoy and see you later.